YouTube, it's Cherry Pop Jess, and welcome to Shadowrun Returns. I have no idea what this game is. It's another one of the ones that my friend Tyler gave me. Again, the bunch of codes he gave me, so I have no idea what this game is, what it's about. Um, I'm guessing it's some sort of running platformer game. I, I have no idea. It could be wrong, but let's get started. I'm a noob. Alright. I am a female human elf dwarf orc or troll. Well, what does elf have? Because I'm really partial to elves. Um, street samurai mage decker shaman rigor Physical adept nuts. Feel comfortable now. Body strength, willpower, power, magic internally, almost potential physical mercy, adapt and abilities. Uh, none of these are really like. My style of gaming. I like like archery types and stuff, but I guess let's go with the uh, shaman. Maybe this one. Wait, can I not? Aha! Okay, so this affects paleness. I'm pretty damn pale. I guess. your karma. Karma represents the experience characters earn while running the shadows and achieving goals. Karma is used to improve ability attributes and skills. An attribute or skill rating can be increased by spending karma equal to the next increment, increment of that rating. Thus, improving your body from 4 to 5 requires you to spend 5 karma points. If you have some karma available, you have some karma available now. Okay, so... Hit and ring. Resistance to physical damage. Let's do that. And add that. Oh my god, there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Etiquette is about knowing how to behave in various social situations. The right etiquette can give you an edge in certain conversations. Choose an etiquette from the list below. Choosing an etiquette does not cause karma, and each etiquette can only be chosen once. Let's see, Shadow Runner and Academic. I guess. Uh, use a street name handle, given names Half Jack or Lady Z. Others stick with their given name or adopt a nickname. Choose a name. Let's do Cherry Pop Jess. Confirm. 
down and out your apartment three o'clock in the morning it's got four walls roof and it is on fire even the cockroaches have fled in search of better accommodations not exactly a runner's dream pad but right now it's about all you have left running the shadows is about feast or f is all about feast or famine one day you're nova hot working jobs that allow you to eat at five star restaurants the next well you're here this one is a fam this one's a famine for the ages slagger fixer hasn't called the money's run out and then some sinless and free free to starve in the cracks of a society run by mega corpse who just want your union i'm think that's money something needs to change and soon okay seems really interesting actually it's your apartment, 2054, it's 3am and you have nowhere to go. Okay, so, slip of paper with your bank balance enough to cover you through the end of the week. Let's look at that. Broken, state of the art, broken since 2015. Okay. Your notebook, calendar, contacts, that sign of thing. View your list of contacts. Carter, Detroit, Fisks, or no response to messages. Dead, missing, dead, probably in a gutter somewhere. Dead, retired, or dead. The list goes on. Either dead ends or just plain dead. Ooh. It's empty, nothing to do. Let's put that down. Answer your vid phone. Sam Watts, a screen lifts, leaps to life, making you squint against the bright its brightness. The face on the screen is laughing. Sam Watts, hey buddy, hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. He giggles. He's drunk again. Or worse. Shouldn't have given you my calm code, gonk, your zone. Where have you been, Sam? I haven't heard from you in months. I want that one. Another giggle. Oh, don't bother with your side with your side of the conversation. I'm not really here. Just one reason for this vid. Someone finally get me. I'm dead. I probably had it coming. When you're an unsavory character like myself, you tend to associate with other unsavory characters who even partake, often partake in unsavory business. Like you, for example. So why am I dead? Who knows. Probably my fault. I wonder where you are right now. I bet you hit some big payday and you're living high on the hog somewhere. Some of us are born winners and some of us are me. Hey, you remember that Ren Raku run when things went to hell and we lost Dowd? Or that sh makeshift saloon on the docks afterwards. I really had your back that night, didn't I? Dowd, that's the name you haven't heard in a long time. Three years ago, makeshift bar on the Seattle docks and the night Dowd went down. New Larry. You've been running with New Larry for about six months now. He's combat mage with bad tattoo and bad attitude. He knew Dowd almost as well as you did. Dowd never saw anybody die like that. Idiot. Or before. Idiot. He shakes his head. I hate this fragging city. It's wet and the rain feels like acid and I want just and I want out of here. Shut your screamer about the rain. We lost a rain man tonight. We wait for the money. I get it. Now take a pill and relax. That one. Sure sure whatever you say i don't know sam is a good guy and can hold his own in a fight but he's been hitting the bottle pretty good lately never on a run so far but he needs watching that run went sideways nine ways to sunday now the fixer is late smell funny to you that bastard better show we need the money what do you think we should do smell funny to you hell yeah it smells funny look where at where he's at the meeting this was supposed to be a public place cut the dreck sam we both know why Dowd went down, and it wasn't the fixer or some other paranoid chip dream of yours. Sam smiles a toothy smile. I've been waiting for this all night. New Larry has something he wants to say, don't you, Larry? Go ahead and spill it. You were sloppy. He laughs. Sloppy? You think I was sloppy? You've been twitchy all day, son. Look at your hands. They're shaking. Own up, Sam, if you screwed it up. a minute. You've been drinking, Sam? Is that true, Sam? Did you miss a beat back there? Need to be no, I didn't need to be. I was on my game the whole time. Remember, I was on point. New Larry was supposed to cover Dra Dowd. Something dawns on him. He leans into New Larry, amused and dangerous. We were set up, and he knows it. Don't you, Larry? 
What was that call you made before we hit Renwaraku? How come you don't couldn't geek that guy before he down unloaded on Dowd? I've seen you fling a lightning bolt, son. He should have been burnt toast before his gun cleared the holster. New Larry checks his watch, licks his lips. Look over your shoulder in the darkness. He's looking for someone and it's not the fixer. Okay, I can see where this is going. You tremors are damaged. I'm out. Did you keep us here long enough, Larry? Hands where I can see them, asshole. How much should they pay you pay you to sell us out, Larry? That one's probably me. He stops and a smile slowly appears on his face. Honestly, it didn't take much. Just enough to get me back to Portland and set up with a Cush Corp job. I'm out of this racket. We've got incoming. New Larry relaxes and throws you a drug-eating grin. Looks like my new Ren Raku friends are finally here. They're gonna take that hard drive off your corpse, buddy. We should choose our friends more carefully. At least we have each other if that guy was never my friend. Buy you a drink after this? <laughs> you owe me several. combat mode each character on your team has an action pool spend these actions on movements attacks or using spells and items once your team's turn is complete the enemy team will move and attack additional tutorial information let's show help zoom in and out click and hold the camera if you can i'll figure it out Get a job, any job. Okay. So. Okay, so it's a turn race combat. Are we done? Aha, there's another guy. There's more guys coming out from up there. Alright, so... You have three. Let's move you to here. And let's move you to here. Dumbasses. So, right here. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, no. oh fuck, there's more of them. What's my health at? Oh, it's up there. I should probably heal. And then go here. You, you're out of ammo. Not enough ammo. Not enough 
of ammo. What am I supposed to do with you then? Aha! Okay, so my character has more weapons, probably. Which means I a stoop. For weapons. Okay, you actually do have a You okay, Sam? Or saying go my lowers are getting nice, Sam. You okay, Sam? Sam's breathing heavy and he looks shaken. That was a hell of a thing. Part of the life, Sam, you know that. You did good. Don't, you don't look so good, Sam. You were born for this gig. Me, not so much. I think I'm gonna hang it up. Find a nice brothel somewhere. Stay drunk until I croak. What about you? I think I'll find a better class of people to hang out with. Me, I do this. It's the only life I know. I'll find a safe house out of town, lay low. Ren Raku has one memory. I do too. I don't forget my friends. You stare at Sam's face on your cob like... Shake off the memory. Focus. I had to think you're back that night, didn't I? Now I'm asking myself, who would care if I die? Who would give a rat's ass? Better or worse, your name is at the top of that list. Maybe the only name on the list. So I set up a dead man switch to send you this call. I got a hundred thousand new in po insurance policy. Payable when you find out, find who creased me. Alive with a conviction or in a body bag with justification. Either works. Contact my law firm, Rogers M Mengert and McCain when the job is done. They'll know what to do. He turns to his left. Chet. The camera swivels to show a well-dressed man sitting next to Sam. Pursuant to Mr. Watt's wishes, Rogers, Mengret, and McCain has installed a secure dedication, dedicated phone line so you may contest, uh, contact us directly when the task is complete. We will then begin a verification process. Note that you must also be on a secure land line to access this number. We will not accept transmissions from comm links or other devices. The camera swivels back to Sam. Sam straightens up, talks seriously. First time. Look, I've led a Drek life and I pro probably left a Drek corpse. I've hurt people, hurt myself. I don't know. Maybe I just want the last word. Maybe I just want someone to give a crap that I sucked air for a while. What do you say? I'll get to the bottom of this. Someone will pay. I trade. I'd say I just traded my drinking buddy for a paycheck. I'd say my schedule's pretty clear right now. A hundred thousand million buys. A lot of drinks. I'll get to the bottom of some old pay. Hope you just said yes. I've got a locator chip slotted in my head these days. If, when my heart stops, it'll activate. That's how you'll find me. See you on the slab. Guess I'm heading back to Seattle. Rest in peace, Sam. See you in Seattle. Well, Seattle can't be any worse than this. Rest in peace, Sam. This is really interesting. I actually kind of really like this game. The dead man's switch. Your plane hits the SeaTac tarmac with a jolt. Welcome to Seattle. The chilly northwest rain obscures your vision as you step onto the tarmac. Before long, you're sitting in the cramped backseat of a cab, following the signal from Sam's locator chip into the heart of the Redmond Barrens. Organ grinders, a legal chop shop for body parts, whether from the living or the dead. If you're hurting bad enough for... Mian, this is the place to sell a limb or an organ. It's also a good place to dispose of an inconvenient body while making a little cash on the side. This franchise is the closest thing the Baron has to Baron's has to a morgue. It seems this is where Sam Watt's body has ended up. You open the door and are assaulted by the smell of death and bleach. Ugh. in the back. 
smell of death and decomposition wash over you, only slightly masked by the minty, fake, fresh scent, f fresh, fake, fresh of industrial grade antiseptic. Hovering over the recently depar departed is a small dwarf whistling a tune. His broad grin says, I love my job, a little more than you want or expect from someone in the chop shop trade. As you approach, he looks up with, his, with a lopsided grin. There's something kindly in his eyes, though it may just be the stray reflection of chrome and sur surgical tools. Sorry, didn't expect any visitors at this hour, and some asshole at corp corporate took my receptionist. What can I do for you, ma'am? Are you the coroner? I'm John Dresden, the organ, gr organ grinders branch manager here. So yeah, that makes me this franchise area's coroner too. And you are here about Sam Watts. I represent a man named Sam Watts. I'm here looking to his murder. No one you've heard about. Now tell me about. I'm here about Sam Watts. His grin fades. And what makes you think I know anything about that? Sam had a locator chip, to, chip embedded in his skull. I followed it here. I see. Well, you're right. He's here. Not too many people know about the murder yet, though. The press haven't caught wind of it yet. What with, what with it being all the way out here in the Barrens. So who told you he was dead? Uh, I'm not gonna mention the money, cause so Sam's digital ghost. When his heart stopped, I got sent a recorded message asking me to bring his killer to justice. Guess he had a hunch. The dwarf raises his eyebrows, a smile wiping the suspicion from his face. A dead man switch, huh? Fascinating. I was working on him earlier. He's over here. Here's my second em he's my second Emerald City Ripper victim. The third one was downtown. Ripper, huh? I guess the classic never go outside of the city. Emerald City Ripper? He sighs, not my title, that's what the Seattle press insists on calling the killer. All I know is that, like the original Jack, our Ripper knows how to handle a scalpel. But this one's even more twisted. He or she always removes an internal organ from the victim. Uh, what prize did the Ripper take from the sound? While its liver was cut cleanly, it was cleanly cut out, how about other, the other lucky contestants? The first victim's heart was missing, and the third had his, the spleen removed. Dresden, get out here quick! Or get out here! I'm here about the new Ripper Vic, Sam Watts. What do you want it with him? Towering over the end, or diminutive, diminutive. Sorry. Coroner is a homicide detective right out of central casting. If you ignore the tusk pointy ear, tw tusks pointed ears and Neanderthal brow, you can smell his cheap af after shave from a mile away. So this new Ripper Vix, Watts, name's familiar. Didn't his mother kill herself a while back? The coroner frowns. He insisted that at that you so you insisted at the time. He chorkles. Come on, she offed herself. I had it on very good authority. Now let's go, Dresden. Give me something to work with here. The Ripper case is my ticket to a lieutenant's badge. I've already posted everything I know. The killer stuns the target with a combination of drugs and magic, then removes a single internal organ while they're still alive. The perpetrator is li most likely right-handed with a slim hand that knows its way around a scalpel. Has decent a decent understanding of human and metahuman anatomy, too. So, I'm looking for a whacked out surgeon? Not necessarily. I don't know any surgeons who still use scalpels anymore. These days it's all done with computer controlled lasers. Could be anyone from a military field surgeon to an antique medicine aficionado. You're no damn health, dwarf. The Lone Star Detective finally notices you. You know his superhuman powers of observation. Who the hell are you? I'm nobody who do, didn't hear nothing. I'm new in town. You're welcome. I can't do the stream. I like the sarcasm. If you're new in town, then let me be the first to tell you that I run the show. If you get in my way, you'll end up back here on a slab. He looks up back at the dwarf. Dresden, get me more. I'm putting someone on a cell or a box this week and claiming my promotion.
Dresden looks amused. You do you always make friends that easily? I'm great at dinner parties too. I don't do <laughs> <laughs> I'm great at dinner parties, too. He cocks his head to the side. Be straight with me. You really gonna work for the dead man? Sam was there when I needed him. I'm going to return the favor. Fascinating again. Detective McCluskey isn't interested in anything but Detective McCluskey. He's, he'd convict his own mother if it meant another ten yuan a week in his paycheck. Plus, he's on the take. Dresden pauses, considering. You have honor, after a fashion. I try to honor the dead in my work, so we have that in common. What can I do to help you? Who's paying to hold his leash? Was Sam's mother? Uh... I don't know, but someone with major pull has been looking out for McCluskey's career and wallet. What was that he said about Sam's mother? The official report is that she committed suicide about the year about a year ago. Aren't the you the official in that sentence? My name is on the report, but my actual findings left some doubts. I can't say that it wasn't suicide, but there were unusual bruises on her upper arms, and she didn't use her dominant hand to pull the trigger. I was told to drop it, so I dropped it. And her organs worth these days. A whole healthy body can be worth a bunch of new one, but individual organs? Not as much anymore. But with all the synth and cyber stuff on the market these days, organ grinders only deal only deals in the recently deceased. There's plenty of other chop stops that aren't as picky though. They don't care where the bodies come from either. Who still uses scalpels? Doctors still learn how to use them in their first year of medical school, medical school as coroners do, but never prof neither profession uses them as much anymore. It's possible some of the slimier chop shops still use scalpels, I suppose, but I wouldn't know where to look. Where was he killed? Dresden looks at you intently for a moment before speaking. You know, I might be able to do you one better. Why don't you poke around those body lockers in the back and see if you find anything useful? Uh, okay, then I'll go do that. Basic med kit. Basic trauma kit. The cold stored John Doe, but the internal thermostat is set to 21 degrees Celsius. Open the drawer. Cold store drawers open was to relieve a full clothed body of a man, arms folded across his chest in addition to sporting some of the brightest orange hair he's ever seen. The body seems to be in very good condition. Whoa! Easy there! Oh, fuck. In one quick move, he jumps down from the drawer and stands before you. For someone who just woke up in a morgue locker, he seems unfazed and pretty well put together. You spot a data jack drilled into his temples and some shamanistic tattoos peering above his color. An interesting combination. I told Jack to wake me up at six in the morning. Is it six yet? It doesn't feel like, feel like six. Sorry, I didn't expect you to be so alive. What do I look like? A damn alarm clock? Uh, you were just sleeping in a freezer. A freezer for dead people. Don't tell me what you haven't considered it. Cheaper than a coffin a hotel and the service is just as good. He chuckles. Well, so much for a good night's sleep. On the plus side, I know she haven't killed me yet, so that's good. If you aren't after me, then what's your story? Uh, did you know him? Sam, eh? Glad somebody cares. We used to drink together every now and then over at the Union. Decent enough guy. Always in trouble over something or other, though. Jack yells in the other side of the room. John, is this lady cool? Yeah, she's on the level. Worked for Sam, I believe it or not some sort of dead man switch? I thought you could help her out. Maybe even stop moping around the shop all day. Thanks for volunteering me. He pauses. Might be sizing you up, but it's hard to tell behind those sh shades. Alright then. The name's Jack. And you are? Still waiting for your end of the story. Fair enough. Well, it sounds like you're taking a dive into the deep end here. John's right. I might be able to help you out. I was with Sam the other night, the night of the murder. Poor guy. He was hanging at the seamstress's union that night, tripped out and rowdy. I had been laying low there for a few days after a bad run. Miss Kubota asked me to throw Sam out, so I did. But, but out in the alley, some gangers got the jump on me. He winces. Damn, maybe I need some soy calf after all. John, could you grab me a cup? Get your own damn cup. My hands are always my my hands are dirty anyway. Now what's wrong with this intestine? You hear a loud squishing sound as Dresden continues his work. You, thanks, John. You're a real pal. Anyway, there's the, a big fat court bounty on my head. 
like I said, my last job didn't exactly go according to plan. Out in the alley, a few Halloweeners got the jump on us. Damn gangers thought it could turn it, they could turn a quick profit off my head. John sm Jake smiles and gives you the impression that didn't work out so well. Or you get the impression that it didn't that didn't work out so well for the gangers. Sam stumbled off during the fight, though, and that's the last I saw of him, until he turned up here dead on arrival. Reminds me of my last day in this place. We've done this before. We've done this before. It's a long story. I end up in the morn more often than the average guy. Yeah, Jake here's a regular. Should've started a rewards card, Jake. A few more visits and you'd get a free night's stay. Jake laughs. I'll hold you to that, John. Anyway, they found Sam's body less than a block away from the Union, missing liver and all. Tell you what, you look like you can handle yourself in a fight. I could use some backup to settle the score with the, those Halloweeners out there. Their leader's got the whole gang searching the barrens for me. I need to get rid of that asshole. In return, I'll take you to the place Sam was murdered. It's not safe to hit these streets alone at night, trust me. Jake eyes you up and down. And maybe I'll throw in some decent supplies while we're at it. What'd you say? Uh, let's see, I do like a little bit of street justice every now and then. Alright, Jake, count me in. Great, I've been hiding out here ever since that run-in with those Halloweeners, whiny bunch of gangs, gangers, but the stretch of the barons is their turf. Hell, I'm surprised you even made it in this, into this, made it to this morgue in one piece without packing some heat. He yells over his shoulders, very funny, Jake, you can sleep in the dumpster tomorrow. So you need a weapon? I'm torn between SMG and a rifle. Probably SMG. Spray and pray, fair enough. Take this. It's a little beat up, but it works. So ready for an evening out on the town? Uh I'm ready. Because follow your lead, Halloweeners aren't looking for you yet. Okay, uh Is there a way to I don't know how to save. Aha! Uh -huh. So, I'm gonna save it here. Hello, why aren't you working? Oh, I have it down here. Okay, so, uh, this has been, uh, Shadow Runners 2. Um, really good game, actually. I'm really surprised. Um, I think I definitely will play more of this, so. Uh, thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you in whatever I decide to do next. Bye!